friends welcome again now let us take a case where some description about the cost of folding or carrying cost is available the main point is the same POQ model with constant rate of demand that is annual demand is known and remains constant the case is each unit of an item costs a company rupees 40 annual holding cost are are 18 percent of unit cost for interest charges 1 percent for insurance and 2 percent allowance for obsolescence Rupees 2 for building overheads. We have to use our building to store it. Rupees 1.50 for damage and loss. And rupees 4 for miscellaneous costs. So the carrying or holding cost has not been given as a single item. But practical approach is here. Total 6 type items are there which can be classified and holding or carrying cost so we will have to calculate the carrying cost or holding cost as a student this is the uh, say a point of risk if as a student we make any error in calculation of ch all the answers will be wrong so be careful the annual demand for an item is constant at 1000 units and the total cost associated with placing each order is rupees 100 that is 100 per order so we have all the three components d c o and c h so let us make calculations now first of all let us simplify this rupees 40 into 18 plus 1 plus 2 that is 21 percent plus 2 plus 1 3 plus 4 7 7.5 that is already in terms of rupees 21% of 8.4 will be rupees 8.4 14 to 21% plus 7.5 so ultimately the cost of holding or carrying cost comes to rupees 15.90 per unit per annum now we have all the three components which we need for calculations let us first calculate eoq that is under root 2 dco upon ch that is under root 2 into 1000 into 100 divided by 15.9 now calculation shows that it comes to 112.15 units EOQ is 112.15 units. Number 2 is say number optimal number of orders optimal number of orders because we are going to follow EOQ that is optimal number of orders per annum that is N star and what is the formula of n star d upon q star q star is actually ordering quantity but we believe that our ordering quantity is eoq itself that means every time we are going to place an order of 112.15 units so it is 1000 units divided by 112.15 units so optimal number of orders per annum or n star comes to 8.92 times since all these are results of calculation we cannot expect the integer values otherwise it is very strange that number of orders are 8.92 but this is nothing it is result of calculation which can be fractional most of the times number three is optimal order cycle time popularly known as t star uh, formula of t star is exactly reverse to the formula of n star q star upon d 112.15 divided by 1000 
that is 0 0.11215 but it is here not at all practically feasible so we have to convert it into number of days so let us multiply this by total number of days of fire that is 365 under normal circumstances so it comes to 40.92 that is approximately 41 days this is the gap between two consecutive orders we place first order of 112.15 unit exactly after 41 days we will place another order of 112.15 units after 41 days of that again and so on during the year we will make approximately 9 orders of this much quantity this is the interpretation of all these calculations Next item of our interest is total variable cost, TVC. Since we are going to follow EOQ as our ordering quantity, we can calculate this by this formula 2 into 1000 into 100 into 15.9 whole square root and it comes to approximately rupees 1783.26 rupees 1783.26 total variable cost means if we place every time order an order of 112.15 units during the year our total of ordering cost and holding cost would be rupees 1783.26 paise and let us calculate total cost because the cost of inventory per unit is available. Total inventory cost. TC. It comes to D into C plus TVC. D is 1000 units into C is 40 plus 1783.26. So ultimately it comes to 41,783.26 in terms of rupees. Now, in this case itself, there is another sub question. Another sub question is also there in this particular problem. And the sense, the sense of the additional question is what if our ordering quantity Q star is not exactly EOQ but something different from EOQ. The original question says that if the supplier of the item will only deliver batches of 250 units, how are the stock holding cost affected? If Q star, our ordering quantity is 250 units. That means we are not going to follow EOQ because the supplier is not ready to supply us the material as per our required or demanded quantity 112.15. They say that we sell only in the packs of 250 units. If you want, you can buy. Now what will happen? the total variable cost will change because Q star has changed. Let us calculate first TVC. But we cannot calculate TVC by the direct formula because we are not going to follow the UOQ as our ordering quantity. So we will have to use another formula that is N star into CO plus Q star into CH by 2. Our N star for this is D1000 divided by 250 Q star into CO is 100 plus Q star is 250 into RCH is 15.9 divided by 2. Let us simplify. We have to place 4 orders during the year of 250 units. Every time the cost will be 100 plus simplification of this can be one 
This is 400 rupees plus this can be 1987.5. So ultimately the total variable cost comes to rupees 2387.5. Total cost would be one thousand units into forty rupees as it is plus two thousand three hundred eighty seven point five. So it will be rupees forty two thousand three hundred eighty seven point five. What was the total cost originally if we follow EOQ model? It was 41,763.26. Now it comes to 42,387.50. There is no change in D and C. So it is not necessary to calculate total cost at this stage. Because only the total variable cost is going to change because of the change in ordering quantity. Originally, the variable cost was 1783.26, here it is 2387.50. So the change in ordering quantity is going to increase our total variable cost by approximately say 600 rupees, more than 600 rupees, we can say that. Now another angle is also there. The second sub question in same problem is if the supplier relaxes his order size requirement that means the supplier is ready to supply the quantity in any order of our choice but the company has limited warehouse space and can stock a maximum of 100 units at any time what would be the optimal ordering policy and associated cost now only 100 that means ordering quantity neither 112.15 as EOQ nor 250 units as it was in sub question A set. now ordering quantity is 100 units why because our capacity to store the material is 100 units only how can we procure more than 100 units if we have no capacity to store more than 100 units so we have to place an order of 100 units only what will happen first of all let us calculate n star what is the formula of n star number of orders per annum number of orders d divided by q star that is 1000 divided by 100 all units that means 4 times sorry 10 times not 4 times I am very sorry 4 times was in the previous case 10 times now we have to calculate say total variable cost TVC total variable cost what will be our TVC it will be N star into CO plus Q star into CH by 2 our N star is now 10 every time a cost of rupees 100 is there to place an order Q star is now 100 only so the ordering cost will now increase up to rupees 1000 because now we are going to place 10 orders worth rupees 100 each this will be 100 into 15 by 2 7.5 90 by 2.45 so it will be 7.95 so it will be 1000 plus 795 so TVC comes to rupees 1795 Again, a marginal increase of uh, is there in TVC. If we follow EOQ model, that means if EOQ itself is our Q star, the ordering quantity per order, 
the total variable cost was 1783.26 rupees. If we place an order of 250 units according to the supplier's condition, the total variable cost was 2387.50. That means an increase of more than 600 rupees was there. But now in this third case, if we follow ordering quantity of 100 units, C against 250, this is, this is very near to the EOQ. EOQ was 112.15. This is 100. This is very near and that is reflected in the total variable cost also. Here in this case, the total variable cost comes to rupees 1795, which was 1783.26 in case of EOQ. That means there is a marginal difference between the total variable cost. We are not going to calculate total cost because there will be no change in the cost of material. It will remain 1000 units at a cost of rupees 44, 40,000. There is change in total variable cost only because of change in ordering quantity. But the thing is, if we follow EOQ as our ordering quantity, the total variable cost remains at its lowest possible level. Or else, even if the ordering quantity is less than EOQ, the total variable cost is greater than that under the EOQ model. That's all. Thank you very much.